Hello, hello now, babe tribe. How are you? It's Monday. I think we have one more, but we're like over midway through the month, ladies. And summer is now here. And I'm so, so excited to be here for a very big reason. A, thank you, Becca, for inviting me. But B, guys, we have an opportunity of a lifetime about to come up. The next 60 days is going to change how you show up for the next 60 days before conference is truly going to set the tone for what your business will be in the next i'm calling it like the next generation so i'm going to give it a second i want to just see if comments work i see some people jumping on good morning good morning good morning so but i really want to emphasize that we have a gift that people have no idea you've never launched with a company, um, which I technically have not. I started very early on in both companies I was with. Good morning, Cheryl. But what's about to happen in the next 60 days, announcements are going to happen that are going to blow your mind. Even though I know you know a lot of it, there's so much more. And then in 90 days, you're going to have new products in your hand. And the way you show up for the next 60 and 90 days is going to change the course of your business. Hello from Texas. Hello, hello. Good morning. Good morning, Amy. Good morning, Tabitha. Hi, Renee. Hello, Kristen. Good morning. Ooh, Kentucky. Look at you guys all over. Hi, Lori. <clears throat> well, I am, I'll start. I guess I should introduce myself. I'm like, yeah, I have a name. So hello, my name is Monica. I have been with Color Street since December of 2017. I am highest paid rank Ruby National, and I am a mom of five. I run two businesses and a lot of other things. So I'm gonna start by telling you just a quick story. So once upon a time, there was a stylist who started, they were with another company. Uh, that company changed their comp plan overnight. Within 30 days, they had no transition time, that gift that we have. Literally within 30 days, my pay got cut in half, straight half, okay? It was a big time leader at that company, gave my soul to it, all of that stuff, right? In walks Color Street. So I started as a side hustle, right? Within, that was December. By the end of September, I had gotten pregnant. I got divorced, nasty custody battle, got remarried, moved to a different state, moved three more times actually that year and that was just the beginning my grandfather had a major accident he ended up being in the hospital in a he had to go into a facility for three months because he had fallen and gotten hyperthermia because he had alzheimer's and it was this horrific thing had to change the course of how his life was get him in home care services there was so so much hi bethany and there's only one reason i truly ended up where I was and that was consistency I could have let every single one of those obstacles start stop me but instead by September of 2018 I became a senior executive director for the second month in a row and earned presidential club now I don't say this to gloat I say it because I know it's possible and you can probably throw most things at me and I'm gonna combat you at them this year alone my grandfather died literally the first day of the year my daughter ended up getting diagnosed with a very rare thing and had to have major surgery as we found out she couldn't physically hear at all out of one of her ears there has been many many things but there's one reason i'm here and that is consistency it is not the easiest thing to do in the world but it is simple if you choose to do it so that is what i'm going to talk to you about today all right Success to me is a choice. My team is called Team Choose Happiness, but it's really about choosing you, choosing to show up, choosing to be consistent, right? All right, we often allow ourselves to make excuses to hide behind the fear of that success. So you have to let that go first before we get into anything. I um, also wanna share, there are three things. I came up with this about a couple weeks ago. It's easy as ABC, all right? Write this one down. Ask, be consistent, and connect. Connecting with your customers, connecting with your team, connecting, connection and relationship building is this whole business, right? You can do this business. If you can do those three things, be consistent, ask, and connect, you can do anything you want. So 
when you can't control the things around you, know you can control how you show up. Last year, I had major surgery, and one week later, I lost an entire national leg. I also wanna share that. I had a national walk away overnight. Someone who had worked with me for five years, she was with me in my other, other company, and gave me no warning, nothing. She left, took a senior executive director with her, and two executives overnight, gone. Just gone. Left me with kind of shambles. <laughs> now I could have stopped, and I could have just been like, I just had surgery, I'm going to just take time off, I'm gonna pretend like, it's all, I'll, I'll show up when I have time. I'll, no. Instead, I made a plan. So I wanna really talk to you about kind of, I'm gonna give you, I love tangible things, kind of step by step. I'm gonna go through that, how to become more consistent, and even through adversity, can make this anything you want happen. So the first thing is know your goals, all right? And I want you to be very specific. I don't, and I don't want, it's more so like, let's do goal for the next 60 days, okay? Before conference, leading up to conference, 60 to 90 days, looking at your goals. Choose one or two and be specific with them, okay? So in 30 to 60 days, are you going to make it a goal to become a national director if you're a senior team builder? Probably not a good goal. I'm not gonna lie to you. You want them to be realistic, but don't be afraid to push yourself. They're supposed to be that but just picking one or two. And the reason why is because we're going to train our brains to start a new habit. Once you've figured out your top one or two goals, all right, I want you to take two to three actionable steps. Remember this, because this is coming back to you at the end. Two to three actionable steps on what you need to do consistently to hit those goals. Three things, not three random things, three consistent actionable things you need. So say, I want to sign two people. Great. What do you have to do to sign two people? Well, I have to ask somebody. I have to, yes, you have to ask. How many asks? So make it specific. Is it five asks a day? Is that something you can do? Is it six asks? Whatever that looks like to you. All right, you need to book nail bars. How do you book nail bars? You have to hand out samples, right? So thinking of those very tangible, consistent behaviors you can do that are going to help you reach your goals. Now, if you do not write your goals down, you're doing yourself a disservice because if you write it down, physically write it down, and I actually encourage you to do it every single week, whatever day your work week starts, if it's Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, it doesn't matter, write down your goals. That your probability of hitting those goals goes up to 42%. I love numbers. 42%, okay? That is huge, it's a huge difference. Now, why do you wanna do these things? Because you wanna show up and do these things, right? Every day or every work day you have, maybe it's five days a week or four days a week you're putting into your business. Whatever that looks like to you, that's what's supposed to be. Color shoot is supposed to work for you, right? You're supposed to enjoy what you do. Sometimes you have to get out of your own way and do hard things and get uncomfortable to be successful. So. You have to write down those uncomfortable things, not the easy ones. If it's easy for you to be like, oh, I just got to post on social media every day. No, post the three behaviors you need to establish or do better at being consistent at where it's all right. Because it takes you three weeks of doing that to create a habit. And it takes you three months. Remember that 90 days are going to have new product to make it a lifestyle, to make it a part of your who you are in a sense, all right? That Those are facts. Those are not like Monica did not make, I don't make that stuff up. I didn't make it up. So I want you to write down those action steps needed, all right? <clears throat> if you wanna be senior stylist, just whatever your goal is, really look at it. Where do I wanna be? Do you wanna be at a certain rank? Do you want to assign people? Do you wanna hit a certain sales goal? There is no wrong answer. These are yours, okay? I really, like, they're yours. And if you're not being true to yourself and what you want as a goal, you will never hit that goal. Or you'll be very, like, don't choose a goal that you think you're supposed to choose for your upline or for your downline or choose what is true to you. I can't emphasize that enough. I think so often as women, we do what we think we should do. This is your freaking business. I swear a lot. I'm not going to do it because I only do it after 9 p.m. usually in my lives. But I want you to think of it the way I would have said it if I could. All right. This is your business. You get to choose. So that is number one. 
finding, and then once you've done these things, make yourself a schedule. So how to make it easier, make it consistent. So maybe you're gonna do all of your ask on Monday. Maybe you're gonna do all your follow-ups on Fridays. You know, maybe you're going to do the handing out samples Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, that's your goal is five samples a day. You're gonna physically nail people like in public. You're gonna let yourself go to the Target and have a good time for an hour, walk around and nail people, whatever that looks like. Make it consistent and try to do that if possible. I know summer is not easy, but try to do that the same days every week because that will also help you make that consistent habit happen if you're doing the same thing every day. So next, this will make your chances go up 95%. All right, 95% chance of hitting your goal from this one thing. Accountability partner. It is everything. Why do people love what they do? It's usually the people that they get to meet. It's usually the experiences, the humans, the culture. That is what gets us through adversity. It is. My tribe is everything to me they are my literal like they are my why all right being able to oh my eyelash did you guys see that that lash that was funny did you see my lash it like got stuck the glue from my lash <laughs> got stuck on my eyebrow i have really bad adhd squirrel moments but you, you can laugh at that one that was a good one my lash literally got stuck and it was like fluttering up i was not having any issues that was just a technical difficulty so so what is accountability partner? That is somebody who's like-minded. You guys should probably be in similar um, standings. Like if you are a senior stylist, I wouldn't make a national year accountability partner really because you guys wanna be similar and you wanna grow together. All right, that national is automatically probably gonna feel more like a mentor to you. And this isn't about, mentors are phenomenal and they're everything, but this is a cheerleader. This is someone who's gonna keep you accountable because they're gonna be showing up for you and you're gonna be showing up for them, all right? So someone to cheer you on, hold you accountable, and I very much, much suggest like-mindedness and whatnot. What we're gonna do is after this, I'm actually gonna be putting a post up for you to search for an accountability partner. It is everything. Remember, did you hear that number I said? 90 Five, 95%. If you have somebody, you physically tell somebody and have somebody checking in with you on a weekly basis, 95%. I don't know about you, but that's, I'll take those odds any day. All right. Getting out of my own way. Me, and that person might end up being your best damn friend. I promise. So we're going to put up a post. So you're going to, and I'm going to give you guys some cues on like what to post in there. So you're like, I don't know how to do this. I'm gonna give you some fun stuff to write, like little corpse, where you're at, what you're looking for kind of thing. And you guys hopefully can, some of you can connect and find some running partners. Number three is change your surroundings. Now you're like, Monica, what does that have to do with consistency? If you do not have a positive atmosphere or positive people around you, I'm gonna tell you that is going to get in your way every time because you are going to use them as an excuse. All right, they are going to stop you. They are gonna make you pause. You don't have time to pause. Remember, we're gonna run for it for the next how many days? 90, yeah, 60 to 90. And you're like, I can't remove these people. Yes, you can. Remove as many negative people or toxic people in your life. If people are not supporting your goals, they have no room in your life. I really mean that. I have removed people who were my best friends because they no longer aligned with my goals. They didn't like that I was spending time with my business. They didn't think, that they thought it was whatever, stupid or, that's great. And you know what, they're not here. And my life is better for it because I wouldn't change a damn thing, all right? I wouldn't change anything I have. Through all the hard, I would still choose that. And removing negative people, toxic people, because it also slows your brain down and it takes up a lot of space where you should be building these habits. All right. So really removing them will make a lot of the barriers go away. Number four, fun fact, I won't get on a call with anybody on my team who does not commit to doing this one thing. And that is five minutes of personal development a day. And you're like, girl, I got so much to do already. Five minutes. You can do it while you're brushing your teeth in the morning and brushing your teeth at night. Two and a half minutes each, okay? That's five minutes. You don't have to do it all together even. That's the car line. I know school's over, but come on now. 
you're probably taking them on play dates. You're probably going to Starbucks or getting dunks while you're in the thing. Throw in your earbuds while it's safe and listen to it while your kids yell in the back seat. You are worth it. That will change everything. Your mindset and showing up and who you show up with is going to help make consistency your like you will be consistency's boss, basically. So really find you're like, oh, who is that mom? All right, let me give you some ones that I like. You can listen to whoever works for you. This is personal or business development. I started doing five to 10 minutes a day when I started direct sales about three months in. And that's when my business went from here to here. I became a mid-level leader overnight, all right? Recruiting hundreds of people myself. It was huge in my first company. Personal development, if you believe in yourself, you're going to believe that you can actually hit these goals, which is why you're going to start being consistent. So five minutes, who do I love? Kristen Boss, she's amazing. Les Brown, life-changing for me. Some people don't like him, that's okay. But if you want a good story, that man has it and he has a voice. Top five motivational speakers of all time in the world. That is a fact. All right, I love Simon Sinek. If you're looking to become a leader or leadership is something you want, if you have not brought Simon Sinek into your life, I'm going to tell you, it is time. All right, he also has a beautiful, he has a beautiful voice to listen to. A nice, fun, like New York slash English accent. And he will give you so, so much. All right. And Mel Robbins. She's a no BS kind of girl. So if you like that, those are very different personality people I gave you there. Um, and if you have people that you love to listen to or they inspire you or they get you going, if you listen to that, especially if you can do it five minutes, if you're sitting down at your desk and you got 30 minutes to work, start the first five minutes listening to personal development because the next 25 minutes will be huge with production. Your product, your productivity will literally go up, I think like 60% or something crazy. Um, Absolutely, Cheryl. I will absolutely, hi, Becca. I will absolutely drop it in there. All right. And my last thing is don't let a pebble trip you up your mountain. I said that to my team, my first team in direct sales years ago. I was on a live and I was like, really? You're going to let this affect your business, these, these little drops? And that's where we stop consistency. We make, you know, we let roadblocks stop our, that's why we're not consistent because we don't believe we can because we allow these roadblocks. So don't let that pebble trip you up your mountain. What does that mean? If you don't get a national day strip, that is not going to make or break your business. You know what it is going to make or break your business? How you're going to show up, how you're going to reach out to your customers, how you're going to PM them, how you're going to know that their dog it got a new puppy named Clover. Like you knowing that is going to make or break your business. Missing a strip will never, ever. I have missed entire collections in my last company. And you know what I did? I still sold $22,000 a month. I still was a top leader because I didn't let anything stop me from my goals. These are very little things that we allow to get in our headspace and stop us from the hard work that we've already put into this business. If you're in this group, it means you care. It means you want more. So are you really going to let things like a strip or whatever stop you? Are you going to allow your friend telling you that you're not enough or that's stupid? Why are you wasting your time with that? Or, oh, it's a pyramid. You're going to allow that to stop? No, you're absolutely not going to do that. And if you are, let, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to virtually shake you right now, okay? You need a good little shake. You need to shake yourself, all right? You cannot allow that because that's where consistency is killed, is through allowing those barriers, all right? So, like I said, consistency is a choice. Who you show up as at this next 60 days will change the course of your business one way or another. If you decide to take off the next 60 days before conference, I'm going to tell you, you will have regret. You will be behind the eight ball. You'll be behind everything else. Right now, you should be finding, I don't even, it's not even about what your sales are right now, making all the connections, getting out there, doing the ask, having in-person events, doing things differently, changing it up, showing up, starting to make these habits now so that when this, all this new stuff happens, you're already grinding, all right? You've already given yourself so, so much. It is so big. Oh, I love him, Tabitha. He is phenomenal. He has a great lead. Tabitha, who she put, he's one of my favorite leadership podcasts. I found him randomly about a year ago, and I've almost listened to all of his stuff. It's phenomenal. So again, if you are a leader, Greg Groeschel, I think is how you say it. 
he is spot on. So you guys ready for your challenge of the day? Okay, what are you gonna do? It's not, it's not a hard one, it's a great one. You gotta go live, right? First, what I want you to do is I want you to write down those goals. I don't care if you do it on a scratch it on a piece of paper. I don't care if you make it a colorful, beautiful piece of art that you're going to hang up on your wall. You have to put your goals in front of you. Every Monday, you're going to rewrite your goals or every first day of your week, you're going to rewrite these goals. Physically writing them is how you're going to be consistent. Putting them into the universe, saying them out loud. So that's what you're going to do. You are going to write down your one to two goals for the next 60 to 90 days. And then you're gonna write down those three non-negotiable, actionable steps that you will need to do consistently to hit those goals. After you write those things down, write them, you can write them on different papers, the same paper, there's no right or wrong. I love chicken scratch. People are like, oh, do I have to type? No, you need to write it. Do not type it. Don't say your goals in your head. Those, that's all great and well, but that's about, you, you saying it in your head is about a 15% chance I think of hitting or like 12. It's like really little. But writing it down gives you 42%. Saying it out loud Saying it out loud, I think, goes to like 65% and then 95 is getting your accountability partner. I'm all about the chicken scratch, Becca, right? Like you don't need to make it, you make it whatever you want. I always tell people, if you're writing your goals, your affirmations, whatever it is down, you do it what works for you. I'm usually on a post-it note looking like a hot mess express, but that's who I am, all right? So I want you to do that and then I want you to go live. I want you to show that paper. I want you to hold it up. I want you to tell the universe what it says. I want you to read it. Say your goals out loud to us because that, my friends, is going to start your journey in consistency. It has not been a, the best year. We all know that. I am not I am not about that. That I'm the realist. <laughs> I'm from the north. We're real real up here. I'm not trying to BS you. It hasn't been that all that great. There's been some slower months. But does that mean we stop? Does that mean we don't do the things we know? Yes, that's what a lot of people, they let it get in their headspace. So now we're gonna make those habits. Now we're gonna make those lifestyles. So go live, say your goals, show your paper and say your goals out loud. All right, and that is everything. Yeah, Becca will tell you, she's in a couple chats with me. Like everybody's like, oh my God, that's so great. I'm like, no, actually. <laughs> I'm like, let me tell you, are we really going to cry? There's no crying. And unless it's about somebody breaching goals and like changing their life, there is no crying in nail strips. All right. I am. I, I do cry about my girls getting promotions. It's like I, like big life changing things. Like they've made me very soft over the years. It's it's that's another lie for another day. All right. So one to two goals, two to three action steps that you need to make consistent or things you're struggling on to make consistent things you know that need to go with those goals all right happy tears only there's no right there isn't Kristen like so and then I'm going to be putting up a post right after this for accountability in search of accountability partners for you guys to search out find some like-minded soul sisters that you don't even know exist that are going to help you kick your own butt Stay consistent, make the next 60 days your boss, and 90, you are going to show up when we get those new products. The next 60 to 90 days could make or break your business. I mean that, because this is a once, once in a lifetime opportunity. You got to launch one time with Color Street. It doesn't matter if it was last month or four years ago. You get to do it again. We are going into an entire different industry. Do you understand that? An entire different industry. And I'm here to tell you, it's going to be bigger than I think any of us have any comprehension because Mr. Park only is giving us the best. And I can factually say that with, to you for many reasons. So I'm telling you, it's gonna be so good. All right, they are so important. I'm gonna put up that accountability post. You guys are gonna go write those goals down, go live. Feel free to tag me in it. I would absolutely love to hear what your goals are. And I can't wait to see what you do next. So thank you so much, Becca, for having me. I absolutely enjoyed this. And now I get to go do this for my, I get to go see my team. Every Monday we have motivation, Monday motivation with mom. That's, that's their Monday, that's what they get. They get me going on going, just giving it all to them. 
Um, so anyways, happy Monday. Go kill it. Happy summer.